Ladies and gentlemen, just entered the building. Hip hop's finest. West Coast finest. They got the oh. boxing ring. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> The champs are here. Damn the right. champs are here. Turn up. Damn right. The one and only, one of the most critically acclaimed producers in the game today. Give it up for DJ Mustard. Thank you. One of the truest MCs to step on the mic in recent years. Representing real life. Give it up for the one and only YG. For one of it. And they're here together, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, how y'all doing? We good. Yeah, we good. We good to see y'all Tommy. together, man. I, I, I just want to say for the record, man, because I know the, I know Mustard, man. I, I You know you talked with uh, uh, MTV yesterday, my, yeah. my my good brother, Rob Markman, and I know y'all tired of talking about that B thing and, mm-hmm. and all that. I just, for one, want to tell you that I never believed that there was real beef between y'all. Every no? time we reported the story, I said, nah, man, these dudes are from the street. Yeah. They might have a disagreement. Yeah. It yeah. may be some conflict. Yeah. yeah, see, it wasn't no beef. It was just a disagreement, like you said. Just a disagreement, and yeah. uh, but I, I and, 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 and so obviously, it's since been um, settled. Yeah. Um, but I did see a picture. I think it was on your Instagram, YG. It wasn't on your Instagram, but mm-hmm. you two posted up next to cars, and you, and it's, the, the caption was "Me and my brother, we just squabbed and and settled it." And that's on, it. yeah, you know what picture I'm talking about? Yeah, that's a picture of the two ghosts. Yeah, now, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. okay, okay, it's done yeah. out on this, you know. Uh, I mean, I'm you just know, talking. And, uh, you know, I got a friend, Rich Nice, my buddy, you know, been my friend for 20 years, and we've had a few disagreements, and we, yeah. we actually literally put on gloves yeah. to settle it. I'm, I'm a hard hitter, and I could take a hard hit, yeah. you know, and I was going straight to the gut because I didn't want to ruin his face, <laughs> you know. Is that how y'all settled it? Like, who hits the hardest? <laughs> hey, look, we ain't gonna get into all that. No, this come on, YG, man. Nah, Keep nah. it 100, man. Who hits hard? No, nah, we, we mean, both hit hard. Look at Boston. Yeah? Yeah. You, feel, hard. you know he hitting hard. Y'all went toe to toe? Yeah, man. That's how it go. Yeah. We do that, though. That ain't nothing. I been for multiple of the homies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't, I mean, but that's like when you, when you, when you in this music thing and you got friends involved in this yeah of course y'all gonna have disagreements and that's what's gonna that's gonna be the outcome we're gonna fight each other because nine times out of ten even if we fight each other when we get out in these streets and somebody try to test either one of us we all fighting yeah so it don't even matter nobody got marks on their face man nah man listen N- not right now not right now lips was busted yeah. lips was busted yeah okay cool. i mean it was cool i mean it ain't like man, that was ain't like nothing a week ago no, that it was, was, a week it was about a week ago. It was about it was, a week it was ago. About a week ago. Sure. It was. All right. You feel uh, me? I was on New Year's. Like uh, we New went out. Year's. We went out. You feel me? We was bull on New Year's. Yeah. I mean, that happened like the little day before, I think. Oh, day God. before. Yeah. Um, you said you got tired of people asking you about his business, yeah. something that wasn't true. What was it that they were asking you about? Something that wasn't true. What was it? What was that? Something that wasn't true. <laughs> <laughs> Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Right, right, G, what was that? You tell Man, me. It's some bullshit, dog. It's some bullshit. Try to fuck up my love. You tell me all about love. Bitch. I mean, I'm, 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 we both have our share of people slandering names. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I saw the, the, the girl who came out and accused you of giving her an STD. Is is that what it was about? Yeah, man. Is that what it about? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was about. Okay. And so y'all, y'all get a lot of that where people come I mean, out and a I mean, it's a lot. I ain't really never got that before. before. I just had it happen to me, but you know. Uh huh. Not just, not like not about that though. But yeah. Not people lying, saying stuff. That's the price of fame, though, right? Yeah, yeah but that's cold. Though, it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. cold. Though. That's cold. Yeah, yeah, that's cold. yeah, that's cold. Hey man, I you know I personally have uh people accuse me of fathering their children. Hmm? You ain't got that one yet. No, I mean, mm-hmm. got yeah. no, no, no. I, I mean, got- I um, I mean, I had a little situation happen before, like, but it ain't no. For me, it wasn't no babies. It wasn't was no babies yet. It was just like I think you, you feel me? Yeah. I think this your baby. Uh huh. But she ain't, uh, ended up having a baby though. So when I have kids, I got a kid. I got a I got a kid and a kid on the way. So. Oh yeah. They ain't gonna do that to me. Yeah, I got a sixteen year old daughter. I heard that. That's it. I heard that. All right, all right, yeah, man, you gonna catch that. You two dudes have had so much uh, success in in a, in a in a. It seemed like a short period of time, even though you guys been at this for a while. Yeah. Um, 
we got the Grammys coming up. Yeah. And this is a testament to your success. You know, there are, there are people who are literally protest. Did you hear that about this? People are protesting the Grammys. I just seen that. Somebody yeah. just seen that. What does that mean to you? They protested because mm-hmm. YG wasn't nominated. What, what does that mean to you? No, that's big. You feel me? That's big. Uh-huh. My fans is out there. Team YG, I love y'all. Mm-hmm. Do y'all thing. Does I'm it does right. it matter to you though if you if y'all yeah. nominated that that's important? Yeah, I was hot. No, I was, I was so on hot. tour. I was on tour from Europe. I text him. You texted him. <laughs> I text him because I was hot. Uh-huh. I'm like, dang, I ain't get producer of the year. I don't get it. The and I was going over all the hits that you've been a part of. Yeah. Right. And um, Wiz Khalifa got nominated though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not. I don't know. If I'm, yeah. I don't know because you work with Wiz, so that's yeah, that ain't the same thing as no. No, you get a certificate for that. You don't get no, no <laughs> Grammy. You get a certificate for that. I don't right? want no certificate. I you want the, you paper. want the actual Grammy? Yeah. All right. Well, listen, man. DJ Mustard is here. YG is here. Yeah. These are the homies. You also brought some artists with you as well, right? Yeah, Choice. Choice in the building. Where you at? You, you right there. You ready? You ready to go? RJ was supposed to yeah, be RJ, here. RJ. RJ. Um, RJ. Oh, yeah. Wait, who, who's RJ. here? Tell me who's here. Choice is here. Okay. But RJ and Choice dropping a mixtape uh, on, on the, the 12th. 12th. Uh huh. Car Rich off Mackin. Okay. But uh, Choice made it, so we. You know what I'm saying? We're here. Okay, everybody here. Uh, you bring any verses with you this time, bro? Who, me? Yeah. Mm. Nah, man, it's on. It's oh, on. Oh, 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 oh. This is why we brought him. No, we can't. Yeah, exactly. we on our ball. We on our label shit, man. We, you feel me? It's, it's 2015, man. Shit, yeah. You feel me? Shit changed. Shit a little different. Well, t- t- yeah. Yeah. well y'all know you put the movie out, so it's more you focusing on the, the mogul side. For sure. Yeah, like, you feel me? We got, we got. Like, we got big things going on right now, you feel me? So we just doing them the right way. And, yeah. Okay. YG is here. Uh, Mustard is here. What we yeah. going to go into, DJ Wonder? <laughs> we going to take them back? We going to take them back. What we taking oh, them back to? Bitches take ain't shit, but hoes and shit. Bitches ain't shit, but hoes and shit. My joint. Sway in the morning, shade four five. Sway in the morning, shade four five. We got YG. We got DJ Mustard here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, what you looking forward to, YG, in 2015? Did you make any resolutions? Yeah, man, I'm trying to, um, I'm just trying to do better than I did last year, dog. Yeah. I'm trying to slow down on alcohol, too. Really? Yeah. Really? This might not be the place you want to be at. It's OQ's birthday. We got all kinds of goodies <laughs> up in there, man. Uh, I'm trying can... to slow down, though, like, for real. No, nah, that's good, man. You just think about, well, how, how bad is it? Like, is it every day? <laughs> yeah, no, what? Every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is every day? Yeah, for sure. Is it because of the lifestyle y'all in the you know y'all traveling? It's the lifestyle. It's like yeah, when you you feel me when you places you gotta you feel me you gotta move around you gotta be a certain way. You feel me? And um, I run to the alcohol. You feel me? Some people go to the weed, smoke weed. I don't smoke weed, so mm-hmm. I go to the drink. But you feel me? That's because I'm moving around so much. Yeah, yeah. And like yeah, when I ain't like when I ain't in the mood, like I give off like this whole little thing. You gonna know? You feel me? I'm gonna look like. Something wrong, mm-hmm. and you feel me? That ain't bull. So I hit the drink. I get faded, get loose a little bit. Okay, you get you better. Yeah. Now, now, Heather B. I thought you might want to chime in, being the uh, the official uh, connoisseur of alcohols. You know, Heather <coughs> B. Got her own site. Uh-oh. Well, she mixing drinks every day. Sometimes you do have to slow down, though. It's not every day. I was over here talking to Mustard, though, you know, and just learning yeah. some more about him because, you know, I used to own a, na- a hair and nail salon as well for years. And we were talking about Mustard is pretty, like, he keeps himself together. Manicures yeah. and the whole nine and stuff like that. And he was just talking about how important it is to keep his nails nice. Yeah. So I was just giving him some advice over here. That's why I didn't chime in over there on the alcohol sway. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You, you gave mustard. Like you <laughs> yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I'm mean? asking her like, why is this like why? Why? Why, why is what? my nails like? Why do my nails keep getting dirty? <laughs> oh, okay. You let me. You got dirty nails. <laughs> well, nah, like they're not like, dirty like that. No, you know here's the saying? thing. Like, so, wait, no, or the real conversation. <laughs> we, it was deeper than that. Like yeah, I was explaining was like, to him that your hands are really the nastiest part of your whole body. It's why everybody gets sick between doorknobs, hand nails, the whole nine. So we would just. San- we have a sanitized conversation. Okay, that's here. interesting. Yeah, I, mean, my, I didn't know, know Mustard was into that. Yeah. No, but see, I like talking. Like I know YG and Mustard, I and mean, we all know him for the music. But I like to know him as the people. That's the, what the, happened the over here. Yeah. Behind the music, right? Uh, okay, so you don't like your nails being dirty? That's interesting. Not at all. Okay, um, let me ask. 
Look, look at why you picking, then you his, picking his nails right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do this. I was trying to find a little yeah, fingernail clipper to get you. I don't like all of you too many yeah. long nails and shit. Like I like my shit cut short. Yeah, you know mine. I mean, you know, truth be told, I I do dishes, so that's a good way to keep your nails, nails clean. If clean, you, you yeah. wash your own dishes, mustard. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I don't know where this is going, but hey, you guys are doing this uh, Rock Nation boxing thing, right? Yeah, yeah we're going to do that tonight. Uh huh. Why well, you got a show tonight, too? Where's your show at? At the Best Buy Theater. Me and Nip. Nip? Yeah. Man, how Nip doing, man? No, oh, he's good. He's selling $1,000 mixtapes. What Yo, you mean? How crazy is that, man? He sold 50 of them already. He sold 50 of the $1,000 mixtapes? He got like almost 60, I think, right now. So, And he's yeah. selling 100 of them for 1000 That's 100 racks. He already got 60 and shit. Man, how revolutionary Proud is that? To pay. Do yeah. you get, what, you get a listening party or come play the music? Oh, no. Nah, like you get something. I don't want to tell the people what they, what they get when you get it, but it's just not. You feel me? You just not buying a CD. You feel me? Uh-huh. Yeah. You feel me? I heard, like, what come with the CD. But I don't want to put it out there because Nip ain't put it out there. So I don't want to be personal to put it out there. Okay, that's real. Would, would you do that? Would you guys do that? Who, me? Like, yeah. Pro yeah. Like, if I was to do something like that, I'd do it through Nip whole shit because, you feel me, he came up with it if I was to do some shit like that. But mm -hmm. you feel me? That's a nip thing, though. That's yeah. nip thing. Yeah. I mean, I, when he came, when he was selling for a hundred, I, I was able to pull out a hundred and, and just buy it on the yeah. spot. He shouted me out in the song too because of it. But I, I can't do the G. Yeah, the G ball. <laughs> hey, yeah. I'm gonna have My to, nigga, I had to that download that thing <laughs> off the mix <laughs> uh, site. I was like, damn. ITunes, I was I'm like, damn, damn nip. iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no, no, How much it costs on iTunes? I don't know. Like. Regular, a regular part, yeah, I bought it. I'm gonna buy it on iTunes. Hey, Nip man. getting it in. Dude. No, Nip's smart, man. He intelligent. I mean, yeah. and um, and I just love the movement that's happening uh right now. And I know you guys expanded too. Must as soon as I saw him this morning, said, "Yo, my art is ready to spit." Yeah. And you know, I, I don't know. You know, these these boys been here before. This is like the you, you you go on a lot of shows and rap, but you know, it really don't count till you come here. Did you know that? All right, man. Let's <laughs> All right, I'm about to let him get, get on the mic. Let him get on the mic. I'm about to let him get on the mic. Let me see. Let me see what, what we got. What we got. We got some beats. Wonder. Oh, 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 wonder. Look at Wonder. Said he looked like. Okay. Tell me. Well, first of all, man, where you from? I'm from Seattle, Washington. Seattle. Yeah. Oh, okay. My new home. My new home. That's your new home. No, no, no. My new home, Los Angeles. It's like what part of LA they put you? They gave me a jersey and everything. You know. Where where they put you? What city? L.A. L.A.? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how you like it? I love it. How did y'all meet? Like, what What was it about him that made you want to work with him? Well, man, my little brother, uh, Reem, he, uh, uh -huh. that's his cousin. Uh-huh. Well, Reem, not my, like, biological brother, but okay. Reem grew up with me and stuff. He brought Royce. Royce came around. Then Royce uh, went back to Seattle. Uh-huh. And I just always remember, like, if I ever got a situation, I would, you know what I'm saying, come back for Royce. Uh-huh. I just caught him like, yo, I got a situation. What you trying to do? He flew back to L.A. We got him situated, and it was on. It was on. So what's the plan? The plan is to turn up. We got a uh, mixtape coming out with him and R.J. Mm -hmm. Rich Hawk Mackin. R.J. R.J., what up? Uh, okay. Y.G. And uh, R.J. tearing up the L.A. streets right now, going crazy. And uh -huh. uh, they got a tape called Rich Hawk Mackin. It's coming out. One twelve fifteen. Okay. It's gonna be a movie. Okay. I yes. produced the whole thing. That's next yeah. week. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we've been, we we working this 2015. That's okay. why we have to come see you, man. Okay, you know hey, man, saying? that's what's up, man. You might as well start at the top. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now you here. That's um. Real. All right. Cool. Uh, Seattle, man. That's home of the grunge. Uh, home Nirvana. Of the grunge, yeah. and, right? Alice in the Chains. Alice in the Chains. All that type of shit. Yeah. When so. Macklemore won all those awards, you were happy for him, right? Uh. I was happy for him for yeah. his personal success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ain't right. no hate over here. There ain't no hate, right? Um, did you feel like he should have got that rap album of the year over Kendrick? You thought, or Drake? Uh, or? No, not not me, <laughs> not not me personally. Yeah. You know, but I mean, it, it's out there. Even he, even he know. Um, you know, but. It, it happens. It's the politics. I mean, you see what happened with YG, and he damn sure had the album of the year. So. Yeah, yeah, but they protesting in the streets on behalf of YG though. Yeah, but that's yeah, what his sure. fans are like. His, they fans are hard as hell. They about it, about it. Yeah, man. Huh? You gotta like it, but the streets gonna love it. The street gonna <laughs> love it, <laughs> right? The streets out right now, too, by but the way. We gotta get more people on that voting committee in there. It's with the Grammys. Yeah, that, it's, that, yeah. That, it's them old 60-year-old white men that ain't never stepped outside and really seen what hip-hop really is that mm -hmm. be running that, so... I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm supposed to do something with the Grammys this year. I'm gonna start becoming a voting member. I'm gonna so. probably get in too. Yeah, you gonna be there? 
I'm gonna try. Until you should, well, you can because you you, you yeah. qualify. You I'm meet the try. criteria. Let's do it. I need to. All right. Um, what do you look for in MCs? Because he's obviously talented. Exactly. You ask me what that's, I'm it, for. that's it. That's it. All right. <laughs> that's it. Is it, it? Do you? Is it a style thing or? Is it I a, mean, he got his own. He got his own. He don't sound like nobody else to yeah. me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And the same way with RJ, he don't sound like nobody else to me. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So them together, they from two different worlds. Where's RJ? RJ yeah. RJ's in LA. He's in LA. Okay. But they from two different That's worlds. You know what I'm saying? So to to put them together, uh-huh. my, well, my me and YG idea to put them together and do a mixtape together was to bring the best of Seattle and the best of LA and put them together and, it, and it's going to work because it's crazy. It's crazy. Plus they got your production. And yeah, then, you know, oh yeah, uh, I'm producing uh, the whole thing. Okay, and YG stamp of approval. <laughs> oh yeah, for People sure. People protest for him. So, for you know, sure. You know, that, that means a lot. Look, real quick, before you go, man, I always like to ask producers this question. What's that? Because uh, we, we have this horse over there, my man horse over there. We always what have is, these conversations about um, our favorites. What's up? Producers, who's your top five favorite? Dr. Dre. Uh-huh. Lil John. Uh-huh. Um Hold on. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Yeah. Kanye West. Uh-huh. Uh Battle Cat. These three is together. These is one people put people. Okay. Ty Dollar Sign, rest in peace, Jacasso and, and Courts. Wow. Jacasso. Jacasso passed away, but yeah. he was one of our producers. Uh-huh. Ty, he, you know, Ty Dollar Sign. Yeah. And Chorus, he, he in the streets of L.A., and he, he they movies. All right. Um, my last question, we, we all celebrate Martin Luther King and his and his um, movement and his plight and his yeah. birthday up, up, you know, soon. And, you know, you guys being from L.A. has always been a politically charged place, yeah. whether it's riots, marches, you know. Yeah. We got the King Parade every year. The King Parade. You know, just as a kid, even though you weren't born when he was on the planet, man, the effect of uh, the civil rights movement and, you know, us being able to benefit from it right now, what does it mean to you guys? Like, I mean, what, everything, man. It's, it's, it's We all in one. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. w- regardless of what's going on in the in the streets and, you know what I'm saying, the racism and stuff like that, we all in one. So yeah. when we go into these shows and YG doing these shows, I'm doing these shows, it's a million black kids, it's a million white kids, it's a million Hispanic kids, and, and that's, you know what I'm saying, what he wanted. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm happy with it. When you when you see, it's interesting because, when you know, when we talk about Ferguson and the Michael Brown case and, then, you know, we, we yeah. saw what happened with Eric Garner and, and it's, you know, it's just it's so many, you know, stories and moments yeah, that have yeah. happened. Growing up on the West Coast, we see that, known that all the time, yeah. you know. It's kind of what NWA was talking about when exactly. people thought they were crazy. Or Pac was talking about. Yeah. Um, so this ain't nothing new to you guys seeing these things. Nah, I mean we got songs like that ourselves. Yeah. yeah, it ain't nothing new, but it's just hot. It's just how they going about it, like with uh, both of the situations, mm-hmm. uh, the Eric Garner and the Mike Brown situation. Hot, especially the Eric Garner situation. How it was on tape, and, and you feel me, old boy got off. Like you feel me, that's wrong. Yeah, you feel me, that's all the way wrong, and it's like. What do you do about that? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, what you do about that? I know, you feel me, his family and all his people, like, you feel me, they dealing with something else right now. What up? It's almost like you call, it's almost like you fighting the people you call. Yeah. I'm with the Malcolm X type shit, you feel me? Okay. <laughs> I'm with Malcolm X. <laughs> Malcolm X? Type, yeah, 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 for sure. That's why a lot of people be telling me to speak about it, and it's like, like, I be having uh, things to say, but at the same time, like, I don't even go there because, you feel me, the situation I'm in, and my name already is, like, you feel me, bad to, like, certain people. So it's like if I really be on my shit that I really could be on, yeah, it's going to be all bad for it me. might make you a target. I get exactly. it. Exactly. Put it in your music. No, nah, me and Nip was really talking about that, yeah. like, you feel me, because we really with that type of shit. Yeah. But it's like we really can't really stand, stand up and get out there how we want to because we already targets. And if we do that, it's going to be like, you know, how they was on pop. Yeah. Same, you feel yeah. me? Same type of shit. So it's just like, damn, like, but we trying to figure it out, though, for sure. My whole, be- uh, when I got into uh, radio, because I used to be on the beat in L.A. when they had the, the real beat back yeah. in the day in uh, stations in San Francisco, syndicated. My, Malcolm X said something, I'm a, I have to paraphrase it, that's been my whole basis of what I do on radio and TV, and he talked about the media being the most, being one of the most powerful platforms in the world. It'll make a, a guilty man innocent or an innocent man guilty, guilty in the court of public opinion, and it can also sway the masses uh, basically based on its slant. So you got to be careful when you're dealing with the media. So that's the kind of approach I take in terms of accountability 
all influenced by Malcolm X, something he said. Yeah. Even when I'm on these stations, like I'm careful what I say, what yeah. I do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, especially with MTV, careful what I say or what yeah. I do, because uh, I don't want to be. I don't want to be a part of all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But man, I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. YG, always good to see you, my brother. Come on, man. Yeah. All right, mustard. Yes, always sir. good to see you, man. Um, Check YG out at Best Buy if you're in the tri-state area tonight. tonight yeah. And then um, Mustard's going to be at the Garden with Fabulous. Angie yeah. be there as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be cool.